Welcome back, it's Victoria. I'm so pumped for today. I came across this article and it said like the top, I think it was 45 items that had like tons of reviews and were top rated products that like people didn't know about, which is kind of funny because if they have such good reviews, like people will know about them. It's just that Amazon's like more people should know about these. So I came across one item in particular and I was like, ooh, I need to try that. And then I also decided to get a lip gloss. Let me know down below if you'd like me to test out more of this brand's products because they actually do basically have enough for a full face. So I could go out and get more items if you guys would like me to. I got my Amazon box just today. We're testing out the rice powder. Open this. We're testing out the rice powder by Palladio. I hope I'm saying that right, but this is what it looks like. So this one, I got the translucent. This is the exact one that they pictured in the article. And you guys, <laughs> this is a like stop it moment, no way. It was only $6.43. This claims to be like an incredible product that soaks up oils without caking. And I'm like, me, I need that. Hey, I have oily skin. So I'm super pumped for that. And then I also decided to get this lip gloss. It was only $5. I'm so excited. Basically, like 95% of my lip glosses are buxom lip plumpers, which my husband does not like. When I kiss him, he's just like, are you wearing the plumping gloss? because he doesn't like that feeling on his lips, and so I'm excited to have a gloss now that is not gonna do that, although I really do love their lip plumpers, so. Sorry, honey, but I'm super pumped for this. It's a beautiful color. We'll get into the swatch of this in a second. Let's just get ready with the rest of our face. I already primed with Cover FX and the Tarte Smoothing Primer, as you guys may have guessed. That is my favorite combo. So we're gonna do our foundation. I'm testing out day two of the Hello Happy Foundation from Benefit. There's a video coming very soon for this guy, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> a bird just hit the window so hard. I usually would blend it down. <laughs> Um, onto my neck since this shade is a little bit darker for me, but I'm gonna be doing a self tanner today So I'm just prepping for the fact that I'm going to be darker in just a couple hours So that's why I'm not blending down. I usually only self tan up to my neck So it's gonna blend out later on. We're gonna move on to concealer Usually I would set with a different powder like Cody Airspun or Laura Mercier and then use like my Makeup Forever powder to kind of do a blur of the finished look. But with this, I want to see how this is going to look baking and I want to see if it's going to be blurry. You need to know exactly how this is going to perform. It's like taped on one side so when you open it, it actually opens up like this instead of just the whole lid coming off, which wouldn't make a difference either way. And then it has a little like powder brush with it, which is so cute. It's just like a little like foam brush. I probably won't use that, but, but I'm gonna keep this in here just because when you're traveling especially, if I were to take this with me, the pow the having the brush in there kind of stops the powder from just exploding all over the place inside the container. So I like to keep those in there and not just throw them away even though I don't use them. It does have a protective seal over the powder. Ooh, interesting. Kind of has like a florally scent. That smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna blend out under my eyes before it goes too crazy. And I'm gonna dump some of this just on my desk. Stamp my forehead, get those wrinkles out, get these wrinkles out. Now I'm dipping into it with my beauty blender. Got some on. Now I'm just gonna pat it underneath my eye. Yeah, this smells so good. It is. It's like a comforting smell. Honestly, I kind of like this better than Cody Airspun. This seems to dry out my skin a little bit. This so far is not doing that and it feels really nice. Like it's not like buttery smooth, but it is so, so soft. I'm so picky with my powders. Like 
these things, I depend on them so much to make my makeup stay all day long because my face is so oily. Before we move on to contour, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and kind of just dip into the powder that I have on my desk. So I have a little bit on there and I'm just going to pat and brush that on the rest of my face. I don't wanna bake the rest of my face. I just want to set it before we move on to the contour. I'm gonna be using the MAC Studio Fix Contour Palette. I'm gonna be mostly using this middle shade first, a little bit of the darker shade. This one I like to use on my nose and then I like to use just a little bit of that yellowy banana powder on the top. to do is take a little smaller fluffy brush and just kind of blend everything out especially around my nose I like to blend in like just like an upward motion just on the sides to smooth out the contour that I did there a little bit and then we're gonna wipe away the bake as well okay I have to say it's gorgeous <laughs> The powder did such a good job. The only thing is I do feel like it oxidized my concealer just a little bit because it's a little bit lighter. But in this situation, like I really feel like that's okay because my foundation is actually rather dark to me feeling today anyways. But it did do a really incredible job of just setting under the eyes. Like it is completely smoothed over. Like my lines are not accentuated by any means. My forehead wrinkles are like non-existent. My pores, like I can still see a little bit of my pores, but for the most part, like those are blurred nice too. Like my nose, the top of my nose, that looks so good. I am super, super impressed. I just need to spot conceal a couple of my acne spots with a little bit of my MAC Studio Fix pressed powder because there's a few of them peeking through. That's not its fault though, that's just acne skin. Foundation I used was medium coverage. I should have concealed it a little bit more before I put it on. But man, $6 and what, 34 cents? Okay, I am loving a good deal on a good powder. I'm so pumped to see how this is going to do throughout the day and if it actually does soak up the oils without making my foundation cake. Ultimate test. I'm going to finish up the rest of my face and come back for the final application with this gorgeous gloss. Hey guys, welcome back. I had a little bit of an outfit change because I'm about to go put on my self tanner. But I just finished all of my makeup and I do have to say like after I sprayed it, usually what I'll apply is my Makeup Forever loose powder. This time I didn't. I applied the rice powder and it went on beautifully. I feel like my pores are basically invisible right now and I did forget about a flash test so I'm going to post that right up here because we need to make sure that this isn't going to have any flashback. I have had a problem with that. An event I went to, I used the wrong powder for under my eyes and it was so embarrassing. So you have to make sure that what you use isn't going to give you flashback, especially at night. It is so incredibly embarrassing. It is time to test this gloss. So I need to get it out of the packaging. This most beautiful like pink micro glitter. Ooh, it smells whoa oh my gosh it smells like liquid frosting it literally smells like frosting i'm so excited about this let's swatch a little bit and show you guys up close it's just completely clear i don't even see like a pink hue with this like at all super pretty and glossy though you can see it shimmery in the camera so this is actually now my new favorite gloss this is the shade pink candy it's only five dollars on amazon you guys go check it out it makes your lips feel just so juicy and luscious i love it that is like super glossy oh my gosh <laughs> it tastes so good it's just juicy mm -mm -mm. I really like this, honestly. Okay, this is totally one of my new favorites. Like, seriously. It even is vitamin infused. Bonus! <laughs> it feels really, really good. I just like, mm, I love a good juicy lip. Mm-hmm, that is so pretty. I really like this. I have like two thumbs up so far for a Palladio. I have to test this out and just see how the powder does throughout the day so we can't give like our final thoughts right now, but I will check in a little bit later 
and let you guys know if it cakes or not. But for the gloss for five bucks, so good. All right, it's time to test this powder. Don't mind my hair, I know it looks crazy. I did a self tanner just a little bit ago, so my like effort in looking pretty is not super high right now. <laughs> It kind of has already spilled all over the place, which is crazy because we were just talking earlier about how like we leave the thing in so it doesn't spill. But look how much it has spilled already. Like it's filled with powder. So I'm just going to kind of like dip my brush in there. My face is so oily right now. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. I don't know you guys. I need to put on more lip gloss. Now she realizes it. Always a good idea to apply more lip gloss. Oh, I love this lip gloss. All right, let's zoom you in so you can see my face like up close. I feel like it does look a little bit cakey right in this area, but not so much on my forehead um, or on my nose or really so much anywhere else, just kind of like right here. I really feel like it's caking quite a bit right here which to be honest doesn't usually ever happen to me i always just use my makeup forever powder and it doesn't do that i have no problems with caking so i feel like it is definitely the powder it's not the foundation um so i would probably have to say as far as like the whole non-caking thing that the amazon article was like it doesn't do i don't feel like that's truthful because it did for me not super extreme but it's definitely still cakey like my face will get oily again in the next couple hours. And so if I were to put this on again, it would be a mess. The product itself, I would for sure take this traveling with me over like Cody Airspun. This would be a fantastic like baking setting powder for sure, especially baking. It did an incredible job with baking. My eyes have not creased at all. It is amazing for baking, for sure. But for the non-caking thing, I'm going to vote no. I still would go with my makeup forever, even though it's like a lot of times more expensive than this $6 guy is. The makeup forever I think is like 40, so it's quite a bit more money, but it's so perfect for non-caking, soaking up the oils and everything that I splurge on that for sure. I'm really curious to try more from them. So if you guys are curious too, and you would like me to go buy some more of their products, I would love to try those out. So let me know in the comments below what you think and if you would like me to try more from Palladio. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got a little bit of insight on this $6 and change setting powder. If you did love this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I hope to see you back again really soon. Mwah.